This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.4. To reduce clutter in activity feed, posts that exceeded four lines of text are now truncated and display a more link. Posts longer than four lines automatically truncate. To view the rest of the post, click more. The login page top color strip and logo are now defined by login page management. A new menu option, view auditors, has been added to the user context menu in class lists and grades. This allows instructors to view and email auditors if they have the necessary permissions. This feature implements PI item D3452 and partially implements PI item D4357. Two new auditing permissions have been added, view auditors and email auditors. In class list, click a user's context menu and select the new View Auditors option. To view the auditors assigned to a learner, email the learner and auditor, or email the auditor. D2L supports the latest Firefox ESR version and has a 12-week supported grace period for the previous version. Pre-daylight has been turned off for all clients, and the D2L System Brightspace Daylight Experience configuration variable is no longer editable. By users. The quiz and survey attempts data sets now include in progress attempts. A new sort order text field now exists in reorder grade items and categories for instructors whose gradebooks contain more than 200 grade items. The previous sort order drop down menu still appears for gradebooks with fewer than 200 grade items. You and your instructors can now offset previous course activity dates during the course import process. When importing a course package, click Advanced Options, click Continue, select the items for import, and navigate to Advanced Options. To see a new Offset All Dates of Imported Components option, click it, and select an offset method. Personal Dashboard is no longer available to clients. The off value for the D2L, Tools, Quizzes, New Quiz Experience opt-in configuration variable has been removed, and this variable is now set to on opt-in. Dynamic previews are now available in question pools. When creating a question pool, a preview of the included questions displays. Instructors can test how the pool will generate questions based on their specifications by clicking Refresh Preview. Rubric feedback has been improved in user progress. Assignment details and content now display the graded rubric, general feedback, and score. General feedback, graded rubrics, and score now display in the grades, discussions, and assignment pages of user progress. Learners can view grademark feedback under grades and in content. Additionally, error and status messages have been improved. The Visual Course List widget is no longer available to clients. For a tutorial on how to set up Turnitin for an assignment submission folder or about creating a question pool, follow the links in the video.